Hello, welcome to Dominar Radio. It's 1912 2302 2022. Yes, it's a Wednesday. Yes, another show. Another amazing day on Dominar Radio. Whoa, we got an amazing guest on the show today. Trust me, she's exciting. She's amazing. She's got talent. She got all things going well for her as well. And also, I think maybe she's she's a part-time animal. I can't even tell you the name of the animal, but we will find out as we go on the show today as well, because it was quite intriguing for me. Anyway, before I carry on, because I started sounding so excited again, as always, because my, my list is going to say to me, why are you always excited? What can I say? I have an amazing guest on the show. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Hello, how are you doing? How you doing? How are you? You okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm super. I really am. I, oh, wow. I love the energy. I love the flow as well. <laughs> but I'm sure my listeners are wondering, who is this amazing, wonderful, uh, you know, guest on the show with an amazing voice as well? Can you tell us your name? My name is Naya Akonti. I am Naya Akonti. Amazing. Do you know what? I can and, yeah. Carry on, please. Uh, you know, I, I'm excited about Carry on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to um, spoil the animal thingy because you didn't want to tell them. Not yet, not yet. I'm you a know, th- cat. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't let it out of the bag. Don't let it out of the bag yet. We, we want to keep it a secret okay. for now. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's fantastic. Go. I was going to say, I mean, your name, I love your name. You know, I, I love it that you, you know, you went oh, all through you. with it. You know, you went Naya, you yeah. know, and you, you added the Akonji at the, at the back end as well. I think that's quite amazing. Give you that identity yeah. as an individual. I think that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's my name, but it's like I really, really resonate with it as as like a professional, like an artist name. I say because apart from the fact that your name has to be cool, it has to be yours. I think like it has to be, it has to carry shit that you want to identify with. And um, yeah, my parents are from like two different tribes in Nigeria, and the names just embody that. Naya is an Igbo name, and like Akwanji is like a Yoruba last name. So it it all just it fits. It fits and it describes me and I love it. Amazing, amazing. So if I wanted to ask you who is Naya Akonji, what would you say? I mean, these days I would say like Naya Akonji is an all round artist. I mean like at my core, at my core, I'm a singer, songwriter, I'm a performer, I'm an entertainer. But like I also do a bunch of other things. Like um recently I started producing, I made oh, wow. like 3D art. Uh yeah. <laughs> I do, I just, if it's artistic expression, and if I can do it, then I will, then I will, but yeah, mostly I'm a singer-songwriter. Amazing, I love that, if it's an artistic expression, yeah. you are going to be yeah. found there as well, I think that's quite amazing, and I love the fact you also, yeah. Yeah. you know, points out that, you know, that the fact of you, you're, you represent what Nigeria is, basically, like a, it's a, it's a wonderful mix of different cultures, and, you know, coming together, you so know, you many mentioned, different I know, I know, yeah. it's quite amazing, yeah. Naya yeah. Kondi as well. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what, <laughs> what inspires you as an individual? You know, what inspires... Well, not, not, not about music first, but what inspires Naya to say, you know what, I want to get up... Yes, yes. What, what inspires you from... Yeah. I mean, I, I would say um, when I first started creating, I was rudderless, basically. I did not have direction. I just knew I wanted to create stuff. You know, but I did not have any idea what I wanted it to be. But recently, I started to get a clearer picture. I pick... I pick not just from my emotions now, but now I can I can I can observe things that happen around me. So I can I can siphon other people's emotions and like make them mine and create art out of it. Basically, expression is what is what um, is what pushes me. It expression is expression in all forms, all shapes, all sizes. It's expression. Amazing. It. Amazing. I mean, you yeah. mentioned the fact that you know you now have clarity of where yeah, you, yeah, what direction yeah. you want to take. Where I want to be. Yeah. 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 I mean, give us a bit of an insight o- o- on that journey of clarity. What what kind of things inspired uh, the clarity, and how uh, did you uh, come about? You know, reaching that point where you think, you know, what I, I have clarity now. I'd say this clarity thing is a relatively recent development. I'd say like probably December last year, because um, I put out I, I put out music like in 2020, and everybody fucked with it. Am I allowed to curse? Uh, not yet. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, yeah, people loved it, and like I've 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 been able to build like this loyal fan base who I'm eternally grateful for. But I started to feel a little lost in that I did not know what I wanted to say. Right. I could put out songs, and they would just be songs for songs' sake. But 
what I was recording during the meme, I couldn't identify with it. And that was that was mm. a huge problem with Corny. I didn't want to perform songs that I could not feel. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So December last year I started um taking my time to do my form of meditation basically that sit down, think about, you know, who I am, what I want. Um, I started drinking lots of green tea. I actually left Lagos for a while because it's really like hectic here. Went to a different state, just like be in nature, and then that's the, the I, it was it was it was it was honestly therapeutic. I started realizing who I was and what exactly I wanted to say through my music, and yeah, yeah, yeah that has been far too fast for me. It has been it has been a beautiful journey. I'm really proud and I'm excited to to, to show everything that we have been working on so far. Amazing, yeah. amazing. That, that's good. I love that because yeah. you you, yeah. you you mentioned yeah. that you know what you had to leave, you know a certain you know Lagos, um, you know which is a place in yeah. Nigeria, and yeah. you know yeah. get away from everything and and let nature yeah. take its course and give you that clarity that you need. It. A lot of people don't recognize that. I think yeah. that's that's a, that's an amazing trait. You you could maybe to recognize yeah. your inner self to go out there yeah. and yeah. get exactly yeah. what you wanted. That's really amazing. So I mean, mm-hmm. let, let, let's mm-hmm. take it back a bit. You know, let's talk about you know how you actually go into music. You know. I mean, was there was there a particular song or performance that you just saw and just thought, you know what, wow, that's Naya Koji. I want to do that. You know, is there something that that got that spark going in you? That that gave me the the push, like the start in yeah, music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we'd have to go like really, 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 really far for this one. Um, when I was really little, maybe like five, six, I think. Um, my dad was a huge fan of eighteen seventy early 90s music and so he would always play stuff around the house like um Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, a lot of um Mariah and Celine and some other like of the OGs and stuff. And I remember this memory very, very vividly, yeah. He was playing a particular Whitney Houston song, of course I did not know the lyrics, but I was mouthing whatever rubbish I wanted to and he was encouraging me so vigorously. He was like, Yeah, yeah keep doing it, keep going. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And looking back, I must have been singing absolute rubbish. But he kept encouraging me. was like, sing your own words. It doesn't matter if you don't know what he's saying. You get. And seeing the joy on his face just made me like, I can't do this. Like, I think, obviously, I could not. I could not sing then. I don't know a lot of little children who can actually sing. But it just pushed me to keep at it. And before you know it, I was, I had gotten a voice, like a voice that actually people liked. And then it was just, it was just that was just it from there. I just knew straight on that was what I wanted to do, and yeah. Amazing. Ah, that, 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 that's 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 Amazing. I think we have we have Dad to say yeah. thank you to you then, you know, because he he inspired yeah, yeah. you know something amazing uh, in you, and and brought it all out. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm so grateful to my dad for for this for all of this. I mean, uh, again, that's that's quite uh, quite unique as well because you know as we know African parents as well sometimes like no you can't do yeah. that what no you must be a lawyer you must yeah. be a doctor kind of thing. you know you know the really funny thing you know the mad thing was that when I was in primary school yeah a um a teacher was because once she asked me you know, what do you want to be when you grow up and I told her I'm going to be a singer and she told me no you can't do that your parents will disown you can you imagine and I swear and it actually derailed me for a couple of years like wow is it that bad? Then she was like, you should try at being an accountant. I'm good at math. I, I actually suck at math. But yeah, I'm very well. I was thinking maybe I'll be an accountant. Maybe I'll be a banker. Until one day I brought this up jokingly at home. And they were like, why would we disown you? That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, man, it, people I mean, really don't want you to chase your dreams, I swear. I know. I know. <laughs> amazing. I mean, you, you talk about, you know, um, way back now. I mean, how long have you been in the entertainment industry? How long would you say you've been here gracing up with your voice? Okay. Um, okay, so there's been like choir stuff, there's been, which I wouldn't really call the music industry, and then there was like play stuff where I would record with friends for years and years and years, and we never like properly did anything with it, but as far as, far as I'm concerned, I started making music I liked and that I like identified with in 2019, with one single called No Words. Yeah, yes. yeah, I heard then, that, um, I heard that, I think yeah, uh, hopefully we can yeah. play that as well. I think that's really amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 not even on all streaming platforms. Yeah, it's just SoundCloud and Audio Mag and like YouTube for it now. But I I do need to put that everywhere. Then um 2020 there was the Vivid Emotions mixtape slash EP, um which was four songs, love them, beautiful and everything. 
um, then uh, last year was just a bunch of features, but I'd say like three years now, that's the 2019. I mean, three years and you're fresh and you're amazing and you're dropping, you know, bangers yeah. out there. I mean, you yeah. mentioned your, your EP, Vivid Emotion. I've listened to that. Yes. I've listened to all the tracks on that, you know, Eyes on yeah. You, Company, Ungrateful, Set Me on Fire. It's like you're yeah. telling a story. It's just like, you know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it like it's like you can follow the rhythm and you yeah. know understand. Okay, or I should you try to say something. Fall of a relationship, basically. Wow. So what inspired that album, yeah. if I may ask? Okay, so I, like full disclosure, full disclosure. Full I was disclosure. Not, I was not intentionally, <laughs> I was not intentionally artistic with that. Like I wasn't intentionally telling a story, but I guess it, it was more inspired by the events I was going through at that time. Eyes on me, clearly a song about loss. That is what I, that is what it is. It's a pure undiluted loss. Um, company is more lovey dovey. It's more, you know, um I want to be with you. Like did you Oh they call to me. Let me get you Oh, oh you. my word, she's that going in, of, she's yeah. going in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, you know, it's it's, it's sweet and shit. And then on Grateful, you're starting to realise that, you know, this person might not necessarily be deserving of all these emotions. Right. You understand? Yeah. And then by the time I get into set me on fire, it's like, you know, do what you want. Like, yeah, you can talk about life, me. I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's how it, it's the rise and fall of a relationship. That's how the story goes. Amazing. And it feels vivid. It feels real. That's why I call it like vivid emotion. Amazing. So, I mean, what. So, so give us the give us the insight of the journey writing each track you know you talk about some of the things you're going through at that point in time you yeah know, what what yeah. when did you decide you know what i want to put this to, to to you know to into a music or a track you know to talk us through that journey yeah yeah so um the the um even with emotions um ep is a collaborative project with my producer friend um Lemar abdul he's super talented love him love him love him um so we have been we, before that time, we had been playing around, we were trying to record different, different, small, small songs, but we had never really finished everything. Like, we do like one verse and leave the rest, or we do like a hook, and that would be it, you get. But after, like, what, in 2019, I think, yeah, 2019, um, I went to his scripts and I was like, if we don't do this, like, if we don't actually put music out, it would be really, really silly. It would be really, really silly because I've been working for way too long. So we came together and um, we started creating sounds together. Things that felt real, things that felt. Um, I told you, Eyes on You was about loss. Was about one particular person. You know, I was making feel his emotion. When one particular I person, you say? What did you say? You say one particular person made you feel those emotions? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, for the first two. The okay. Two are kind of different. So the first one was like, you know, it was lost, and it was about one person. And who is this know, person? We must, we must bring him on. Air. Who is this person that has made you feel this way? <laughs> it's not, we're not a thing anymore. So okay, we we'll let him, we we'll let him off then. You know what I <laughs> mean? Yeah, we're not a thing anymore. We're not an item anymore. But yeah. Um, so I started writing, and I could not finish it. I've done like the, the first the um hook, I think. Yeah. It was just the hook we had, yeah. and we loved it, and we played it all night long. But then, the next time I was coming for the session, uh, I was supposed to go for the session. The man was like, please, you don't finish this song. Don't ever come to my studio again. You cannot be having half-half songs. Mm. So I sat down, <laughs> and I, in like an hour or so, I just, you know, put my mind, thought about that person, you know, imagine what I wanted to do to them, and this and this and that, and then I just... Wow. Pend it down, baby. Put wow. it down real quick. And Amazing. And recorded, and that was it. Yeah. Amazing. Now, now, that was the first one. I'd like to talk about the last one. Now, the last one set me on fire. Even though, um, artistically, you can say it's the continuation of the saga of the whole EP, it's actually about a friend of mine who, when I told her one day that like, I was going to like be a star artist, she, she, she didn't know I was looking, but she like, did. there's this, there's this Yoruba thing. Where you move your nose really quickly to show that you think somebody's lying. Yeah. And she did that, and it really hurt. It really, really hurt. Wow. And I was like, ah, fuck you. Okay, sorry, I like to swear. I was like, screw you. You do not believe in me. Wow. So it was like, send me up by a child. Do whatever you want. But like, yeah, yeah. 
can't, and then it just it just went from there. Yeah. Fantastic. That's kind of spurred you on. What you know? What watch this space? I'm coming for you. Uh, mm -hmm. as well amazing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i can't wait to play uh this track so i'm gonna actually we're gonna go for a short break now and we're gonna yeah. be playing uh, this amazing track as well there's one i'm actually gonna hold on to for a bit uh, it's an unreleased <laughs> one you know very, oh my gosh you, l l ladies and gentlemen if you, you have to beg her to release this one because she gave us uh, the, <laughs> the privilege to actually uh, you know play here on Dominar Radio. But I'm going to be playing you know some of the amazing uh, tracks on the EP now, and we shall be back on the other side to find out more about Anaya Akonji. Stay tuned; you don't want to miss it. Dominar Radio is 1933 uh, 2202 2022. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, I I actually forgot. I was doing a live show today because the music was so good. This is me jumping on the tables, dancing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they had to, <laughs> they, they had to give me a signal, like, go back, you gotta go live. What can I say? I know you enjoy that as well, <laughs> uh, you know, but she has one special track that she's uh, sent to us as well. We will be playing that, but we will talk about it uh, before we actually play it as well. Uh, Naya, uh, welcome back. Sorry for yeah. keeping you waiting so long, but we could have, it was just the music. The music is amazing, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, Oh, she does. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing. I love that. I love that. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the, the tracks, uh, you know, they sound amazing, sound really good. You can listen to it, uh, you know, all the time. Replay, replay. You're never going to get tired to that. I mean, yeah. what, what does music mean to you, uh, Naya? Oh, that's a pretty hard question to answer. It's so hard. What does music mean to me? Is that what you said? Yeah. Naya. Man. <laughs> Man, music is, at this point, yeah, music is my life, and I'm not even joking. It's not even, I'm not even saying it to me. Oh, they are interviewing me, so I have to say something cool, but, like, that is what I do. That's what I wake up and think about. That's how, when I hear, I'm walking on the road, and I hear um, a horn or something like that, it's very, very likely that I could hum it, and then it turns into a song in my head, and I have to bring out my phone and record real quick and like write a few lyrics down and I have to rush home and put like the beat down a little and send to someone you get it's like it is my life at this point it music really is my life so yeah that's, that's what amazing amazing you know yeah, yeah. you're right because I mean the reason I actually asked that question was because you know earlier on the show before the break you mentioned that uh -huh. you, you needed to connect to music to be able to perform yeah. or even give you know a hundred percent to that music and, and I, I think that's amazing yeah. and you also mentioned that you had yeah. to come away from the noise you know and go find yeah. somewhere to just find yourself yeah. and and be able to give you know the, the all into that amazing uh you know music or, or creation you're trying to bring out i think that's quite um yeah. amazing yeah yeah okay so um, i mean go on please yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, I was agreeing with you. Like, I, I had to find myself. It was really, really necessary. You need to go on. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you, we, we talked about your dad, who's amazing, who um, inspired you, yeah. um, you know, to go for it, you know, egged you on and gave you the confidence that you needed as well. And also, your amazing mm -hmm. parents who gave you that, you know, assurance that, what, why would they ever disown you? But, I mean, looking at other. Mm -hmm you know aspects within the society who would you say your role models are apart yeah. from your parents i know they're definitely default by default they're going to be your parents do you have any other role yeah. models you, you look at um so i i'm i'm very wary of 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 of, of giving the title of a role model to humans because oh. we're very fallible amazing you understand yeah someone yeah someone someone could they could make some of the most beautiful music you have ever heard in your life and then the next day you find out that they were debuting little girls mm, <laughs> mm. You, you understand people are so but their art their art is incredibly inspiring yeah so i'm just going to i'm not going to talk about role models i'm going to talk about people whose art inspires me okay there's this um japanese artist called yayoi kutama she makes um all her art is, is I, I would not really call it pointillism that's like point it's like it's like concentric circles, like circles that in every, what you see is pieces by Ayayoi Kusama. You know it's by her. Because it has that, it has, mm -hmm. it has her feel. It's like, it's like ultimate brand identity. You understand? Yeah. When you see that, you know that it's her. And every time I see an image of her randomly on Instagram, mostly on my Finsta, you know, because like, that's where, that's my real, real art page. But I see that and I know it's her. It gives me this kind of 
join it. Like, see, I can see, and I just know it's how without having to check who it is, and that's really, that's really, really inspiring. Amazing. Um, to me. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Another person is this might sound cliche, but it's not even a lie. It's with kids. Okay. With kids, because like I have been. I mean, when he first started, our girls in my class were screaming, and we're like, "Hey, he's cute and stuff." I was like, "Let's hear what you know, you get." Yeah. But eventually, I started listening to his music from like, his first album. Um, 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 what, what was it called again? Mm-hmm. Was it the mm-hmm. first album or something? I forgot. Something. But then there was this song, "Just Save Me, Save Me, Save Me, Save Me, Baby." That song in particular that made me a fan. I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" This boy is from the same Nigeria that we all are. Amazing. And he doesn't even look like proper boxed up, but he's making what he wants. And yeah. It sounds good. And yeah, yeah. So right now, those are the only two people I'd like to name. If we start on this, like, we'd, we'd never finish. Amazing. Never finish. But I tell you, I know it's just a man respect. I mean, those are two amazing uh, individuals you mentioned there as well. I mean, and yeah. very, very distinct. and But, you know, they, they, they do inspire a lot of people as well. And it's, and it's wonderful. Uh, you acknowledge uh, yeah. that that as well. I mean, one thing you mentioned, which yeah. I think is quite important, is you mentioned that you know humans uh, are not perfect. You know, they sometimes uh, they do err on the on the negative side. You know, you do see someone coming yeah. out with amazing work, and you dig deeper, yeah. and they have demons they're, they're kind of dealing with. You know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. People, people are people. They they are fallible. We are who we are. I mean, you don't have to. T- your actions because ew, why would you ever but sometimes they make really good art yeah <laughs> yeah 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 you're yeah. right you're right but i mean as, as an artist yourself you know w- what struggles yeah. have you had to deal with um okay so i would never i would not say it's like um my struggles have been um about like not knowing whether i could sing or not having because that would be like I've, I've known i could i guess i could sing for quite a while like I've known that I'm, I'm secure in that far. Two things, there have been two major things. One, um, security in in realizing that people would like my sound and I don't have to compromise. I wish that's something I learned earlier on in my, what am I saying earlier on in my career? My career is so young, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I wish it's something I, yeah, I wish it's something I had known right off the gate and I'm just realizing like now. Like I'm really proud of people's emotions. It is. I'm, I'm super proud of it. It is the kind of work I want to do. But there were, there were times before then when I would want to express in a certain type of way. And people would tell me shit like, um, who is going to listen to that one? Mm. Don't you know where you are? You understand? Like, give us bedu or go away. Which is really funny because I can't give you bedu and you would jam. But there are other things that I want to talk about too. You can't work forever, my nigga. You get like, you have to. <laughs> You have to listen to other things too. So I wish I had, I had, I had discovered that early on. But I'm so glad. I'm so super glad that I'm there right now. Amazing, amazing. Another thing, yeah. Another thing that kind of was an issue was figuring out how to structure myself because if you don't have like um, major label backing, you can you can feel rudderless. Mm. You understand? Yeah. yeah. But in the past couple of months, I've been able to to put together a group of people who, apart from being hardcore fans, would literally do anything to see me succeed. And they're like, we're all contributing our gifts and our talents to bring the best of the best to you. Amazing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Amazing. Yeah. That's, 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 that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I mean, I love the yeah. fact that, you know what, you, you took yourself away from the doubting, yeah. uh, you know, doubting yourself, like, can you do this? Because of, you know, sometimes feedback might, which might not exactly be what you need, but the thing was to believe in yeah. yourself and know that, yes, yeah. I, I can do this. I mean, from that, how would you describe yeah. your music? Um, th- there was a time when I would describe myself as Afrofusion, and I think to a part, it's still largely true, because um, I do still make a lot of music that has, like, Afro percussion that is that is very deep for me, but I would kind of describe myself as a pop artist. And when I say pop, I am not talking soft for hip hop. No, pop has deeper roots than that. Pop basically is pop culture. Mm. That is, um, it's inspired by, um, it's inspired by anime. It's inspired by the nineties and early two thousand six. It's inspired by, um, Yoruba movies if I feel like it. It's inspired by, it's inspired by everything together it's like a weird mishmash of everything that's how i would describe my art my music amazing. It's everything amazing okay that's really good yeah. okay now i want to 
talk about you know this world we've been hiding there's two things so you describe uh, you know that you've gone into the producing world uh, you know early on the yeah. show uh, as well that you, you you took it up on yourself you know what i'm taking this step i am not holding back <laughs> i can do this you know you can you can set me on fire yeah, yeah, all you yeah. like but i'm going to do this uh, as well so t tell me yeah. what what got you to say you know what i want to produce a track what inspired that what made you take that bold step okay um so first of all i'm about to shit on i'm about to really shit on a particular door uh, called fl studio i actually tried tried producing a couple years ago with fl studio but i do not know why a lot of like greats use it and they they gave like really amazing music but it just was not working for me it wasn't but then um i got like a little setup and then i had to start sending vocals out so i i learned how to record myself and then i was like hey, that was with um studio one or glory be to her name so i was like if i can do this then i could probably put together little little sounds little little samples to give producers an idea of what i want so they could reproduce it and make it sound better and then I started doing that, and then I thought, why don't you just do it yourself? I mean, mm. I still work with other producers, but you need variety, and that's very, very important. But, like, why don't you finish a couple songs yourself? And so I started doing that, I started working, then I would send to my friends, I would send to um, um, Abby and Tejiri of um, Audio, I would send to, I sent to a bunch of people, I sent to John Seapi, but he started with me all the time, so I stopped sending to him. I also sent to, like, a bunch of my friends, I yeah. to friends and they would tell me, okay, correct here change here the drums don't sound I, i'm still not perfect I'm, I'm putting it out there now i still have too much to learn so much but i just have to express of course so, of know, course start hearing more stuff I, and you took the bold things. step of releasing uh, your first ever uh, track you produced i think that's quite a, a, a remarkable thing to do Yes, 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 I mean, yes, I, I, I'll yes, let the listeners be, be the judge of that. We're going to be playing that uh, before the end of the show uh, tonight as well. Yes. So you, you can yes. see, you know, uh, on here what this amazing talent, uh, talented lady has uh, created uh, for us as well. Okay, so I mean, are there any collaborations you're looking forward to in the music industry at present? Um, well, there, there are so many people I would like to with I want to create with I think I would like to create with FKA Twigs. I'd like to create with Sev Daliza. I'd like to create with Rema at some point. Mm. I'd like to create with Bro, who remain again? <laughs> Anybody <laughs> who makes good music at some point. I want to be locked in, in the studio with them and see what magic we can create, you know. Amazing, amazing. And what do you enjoy yeah, uh, yeah. most about being an artist? The unpredictability of it all. Amazing. The fact that you can go into the studio with one idea and you come out with something completely different and you fucking love it. That's really you understand? Yeah. It's just, it's just, and your days are just very, you don't know what's going to happen. It's really exciting. It really is. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think yeah. you're going places. I think, you know, there's more to come from you as well because I love your confidence. Yeah, I, think so. I love that, you know, yeah. you, you've kind of found yourself. I know you. I, I know that, you know, it's amazing, you know, for someone to take a step back and say, you know what, I want to find myself. I want to know what my strengths are. I, want, I don't want to listen yeah. to what people are really saying. I want to carve my own yeah. niche and make sure I deliver yeah. on that. And also, you sound like, you know, you've been putting a lot of hard work into what you do yeah, uh, as yeah, well. Yeah, mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. But if, if any of yeah. uh, you young aspiring females, I mean, like yourself, is listening to you right now, what advice would you give them? Don't answer anybody. That's <laughs> the advice I can give you, my dear. Like, don't listen. When, when I say don't listen to any anybody, I mean it in a very rude way. Like, don't listen to none of these niggas. They don't know what they are saying. If your if your sound is clean, if it is good, I mean, like, if it's produced well, it is good. Your audience is out there. The person you are playing it with, I'm telling you, with this selling ninja, is not part of your fan base. Mm. Move on. You understand? So, don't don't listen, don't listen, really, be stubborn, you, you are going to need it, and then also build a community, you need, you need a community, you can't do everything by yourself, you can't be doing PR, and be doing Photoshop shit, and be doing this, and be doing that, and be mixing and mastering, and build a community of people. Amazing, amazing, I mean, you're quite yeah. right, you know, 
build, build your confidence, you know, build yourself, find yourself and go for it as well. Because you did mention that the one that says, you know what, it's not going to move, it's not going to, you know, it's probably not one of them that will be your fan. But later yeah. on, they could be adopted fans as you grow uh, yeah. along as well. Yeah. I mean, I, you stress a lot about not, not listening to people. We, you know, you, you said it quite a number of times as well, which obviously is due to the experience uh, you've had within the industry. But would you say that when limit people told me eyes on you was bad, you don't care. Oh wow. <laughs> and that song got that song got like airplay. It got like night like radio airplay when it came out that I didn't have to do shit for. You get and people tried to discourage me from putting that song out. I'm not kidding. Wow, wow. Good good that you stuck to yourself. You understand? And yeah. Yeah. It so is if good. I had not believed in myself, that EP would not exist. There oh. would be no Naya, I would have given up by now. So Amazing. Wants, guys. Set, set, set me on fire. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want because yeah. it's Naya Akonji <laughs> coming through uh, to you as well. Bobby, would you say, are there any, any limitations within the entertainment industry, particularly in Nigeria, for female artists like yourself? Um, To be very honest, yeah. I, 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 did, I did tell myself I was going to stop answering that question. Okay. Because I don't really ever know what to say, especially when we were making like female artists. I'm just going to answer like as an artist in general yeah um if you do not have um i'm just going to say like major funding to in like behind you you do have to do a bit more to get like half of the listeners <laughs> do you get what i'm saying yeah but yeah but like as a female artist i don't really want to go into that right now I okay know, okay Spotify, understandable Spotify, you, you, Spotify, yeah. you know your, your yeah. silence speaks a lot so we understand it's fine yeah. okay so <laughs> The part-time cat. Okay, where did that come from? Am I speaking to a part-time cat at the moment? Or have you got a cat as a pet? Which is it? <laughs> I still want a couple cats. I want to be that cat lady who you visit. I have like 17 of them. Wow. That's what I want. That's what I, so, I mean, I mean that's, that, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot, yeah. Like, it is a lot. That's like, um, I... I I can be cat like. I mean, some people are more like dog like personalities, and that they're very open. They're doggy, doggy. They're out there. They want to explore. They want to blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. I'm more calm. It takes a while for me to warm up to you, but once I do, you have me for life. Amazing. So, yeah. I think I already have her for life. Now I called you on Dub and I already this evening. <laughs> Speaking to <laughs> Dub and I, I have her for life already. But before you go, before we say goodnight to you, before we say a big thank you to you. I want to know a fun fact about you, exclusively live here on Dob Night Radio, that no one knows. We can check this. We can check this, Naya. I know you're going to be telling us a fun fact no one knows. No one knows. Huh. Yes, uh, e exclusively live. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. No, you're I not trying. I can see it. It's already there in your head. But you're thinking, shall I say it or not? Yes, you should say it. Yes, <laughs> you should say it because I can tell it's in there. Go on. <laughs> I'm going to say this one because I think so. I'm going to say this one because I think it's cute. Okay. Um, I have a heart-shaped breast, breast mark on my knee. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see, you're full of love, isn't it? Yes. Give the world the love. Fill the love, the world with the love you have as well. Look at that. That's quite amazing. They should give me money. The world should give me money, oh, man. Okay. Money. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it there. She says what? The world should give her money as well. Yes. I'll buy my paper. But yes, what you need to do is stream all our amazing uh, tracks. Uh, I'm sure it's, it's available on all platforms as well. I think she's going places. I think she's going to be amazing because I spoke to her just uh, off air as well. I said, you know mm -hmm. what? Uh, her music is one of them ones you could play on the radio and not worry who's going to be listening. Oh, would anyone like it as well? I think it's quite amazing. I think she's put it in a lot of work as well. And she's only been here for three years. She's only been within the entertainment industry for, for three years, doing it really well. But I think, you know, more to come from her as well. Naya, it's been amazing yeah. to have you on the show this evening. Yeah. I'm going to be playing that amazing track. You, you, you know, the mm -hmm. first one mm -hmm. you produced, you know, not even released anywhere yet, but you've given us the privilege yeah. uh, to play on here. We do appreciate that uh, as well. It's amazing. Yeah. It's been wonderful uh, yeah. to have you on. Uh, hopefully, we can have you back at some point. Maybe when you're there nominated for that Grammy. Who knows? It could be Naya yeah. Kanji. It's not who knows. It's happening. It's it happening. Listen to me. It's happening. Fantastic. It's not who knows. Fantastic. Yeah. I love the confidence. Make sure you follow that on Instagram as well. That's Naya Kanji on Instagram. And also, uh, you know, make sure you do stream 
all the amazing tracks as well. I think it's quite uh, mind blowing what she's put together. But in the meantime, now I want to say a big thank you again for coming on the show this evening. It's been amazing thank having you, for you on. Having me. Thank you. Thank you, you. You're most welcome. I'm sure we'll speak to you soon. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, stay locked on, stay locked in. We're going to be playing her amazing single, which she produced by herself, the first one she released 